The Nikon Z app is a well-calculated spin kick to the industry by Nikon, and it's going to be incredibly popular. Wapa, smack the lip, get pitted. So pitted. I would like to buy one of these. Liam wants one, Lindsay wants one, Ashton Kutcher wants one, this thing wants one. Hi, I'm Taylor Jackson. You might remember me from other camera reviews here on the internet. I'm a working full-time professional wedding photographer in Canada, and I photograph over 1,000 weddings. And wow, plugged for my audiobook. You can get that on Audible right now if you want. When it comes to reviews and cameras, this means that I actually use this stuff in high pressure environments over long days in the hot sun, and also sometimes here in our studio on cloudy days. Back to the Nikon Z F. This is a lot of what goes into the Nikon Z8 in a smaller, less expensive, and much more attractive looking package. The key thing that comes with the Z8 for me is the great autofocus that Nikon has been developing since the Z9. They went from usable autofocus to really darn good in the past 16 months. And if you're interested, there are a few wedding days up on the channel from the Nikon Z8 to see through the EVF in real life environments. The Nikon ZF handles similar to my Z8 in testing so far. The X-Speed 7 processor really brings the capabilities of this camera way up. That said, it is not a stack sensor in the ZF, so the performance won't be identical to the Nikon Z8 and Z9. I will have more real wedding days up on the channel once I get a production unit, so like this video and subscribe if you're into that. I know that the industry is supposed to be competition over community. Wait, no, that's community over competition. But let's get into a street fight anyways. This camera is actually a pretty sizable punch to Fuji. Remember that time that Fuji used Nikon lenses natively? Well, I remembered it this morning for some reason, and now I'm talking about it in this video. Weird, right? Fujifilm was clearly just rebadging Nikon cameras. Anyways, current day Fuji really dominates the retro aesthetics niche, but now this Nikon camera does it too, but full frame and with a selection of similar form factor prime lenses. Is this the death of Fuji? That was a way better title for this. No, it's not the death of Fuji, but it does make my mind wonder why Canon and Sony haven't really done anything in this retro space. And you might be like, ha ha ha, aesthetics, I don't care. I want 55 frames per second and 55 burgers and 55 fries and 55 tacos and 55 Cokes. My take on aesthetics is this. Clearly, it's working for cameras like the Fujifilm X100V. Having something aesthetically nice with good form factor also means that you're just going to use it more. You're not gonna be bringing your Nikon Z9 with a 24 to 70 f 2.8 out to dinner with you, but you will bring this. When I first learned about the camera, my thought was actually this, but how do they mess it up? I bet it comes with everything you need and then some sort of silly nerf, like one card slot. Look at the size of the body. How will it have two card slots and be full frame? Well, it does, and one of them, surprise, is a micro SD. I'm a wedding photographer, buy the audiobook, and I like having a second card in my camera. In fact, I would say it's one of the key requirements for me in selecting a camera, and I never actually take my second card out. It goes in the camera maybe one time, and I am very happy that even with limited space, they still manage to put a second card slot in here. It makes this camera actually usable for my professional work. I do have to mention here that even though there are two card slots, video will only record to one. This is the same currently in the Z8 and the Z9, and I hope that this gets sorted out soon because I know it's a huge point for a lot of hybrid shooters and something that is legitimately holding people back from going Nikon. Let's go outside on the street with the new Nikon ZF, or ZF, depending on which country you're from. Let's go for a walk. Feature alert, or lack of no feature alert. You might notice on some cameras, uh, some brands, when you actually turn the LCD, so if you're an LCD shooter, you're wearing polarized sunglasses, it looks great like this, but as soon as you tilt it, the screen goes black. You get screen. It's a little affected, but you can still see your screen with sunglasses, so you're not all day like this, uh, like I have to with a few other brands of cameras. I think this camera is going to become both one that's a backup camera in a kit with a, maybe a Z8 or Z9 as a main camera, but then also your family camera and your travel camera. I feel like uh, Fuji does that a lot that you might shoot another brand and Fuji happens to be that, that second camera. And I feel like this really comes into that space. So this is the lens that you can get in the soft bundle. Uh, I would recommend that you get it. it. It's ergonomically, it's really, really nice. The aesthetic matches and as a walk around lens, you'll actually be surprised with how useful a 40 millimeter lens is. It works all evening, it works all day. And by using something, so maybe if you're usually a 28 shooter or maybe you're usually a 35 shooter, by using something a little bit different, it puts you in a slightly different box. So you have to creatively do things a little bit different and I feel like it makes you grow as an artist. So I recommend a 40 millimeter lens, even though that might not be your like, yes, I'm my favorite focal length is 40 millimeters. 
I would recommend that you, uh, you check out this lens and uh, get this bundle together. I feel like I'm talking about this camera a lot as a bonus camera to your regular kit, and I really shouldn't be. The Nikon ZF is a fully featured camera that does pretty much anything I would need from a camera. In terms of specs, they didn't really leave anything out, which is confusing because usually companies leave out something key so you have to buy their more expensive product. All right, whenever you're ready. Very nice. Here at Bodega Rose, enjoying our delicious maple espresso shaken. And you can come here to Waterloo, Ontario, for Canada Photo Summit. The Nikon is actually sponsoring. We're gonna be two blocks from there. You can come here, you can get coffee. Check it out. Back to the camera. I mentioned it briefly, but I think one of the features that I'm most excited about is that with the fully articulating screen, Nikon now has a camera that I can use for everything. So prior to this, wedding photography uh, out there doing real commercial work, no problem whatsoever. But when it came to my second job, which is kind of here on YouTube, I was never able to use this as a main camera because I, I just, I guess I could have used a monitor, but when you're out there, you're, you're making content. It's a lot easier just to have a front facing screen like this. And I'm very happy to say that the ZF actually just has that. I, I don't think I was expecting it. And I am very, very happy to see it. If you've ever held the precursor to this, the Nikon ZFC, which is the crop sensor version of this camera, you may notice that it feels great, but it feels a little plasticky in spots. But when you touch this camera, it's magnesium alloy, there's some carbon fiber, dials are brass, so you get a really satisfying, kind of like old timey film camera click to them. And it's just a really, really great feeling camera overall. Another feature you'll probably be pretty excited about, so you can actually make the screen here, so if you're using the EBF, you can make this screen a function button and you can select your autofocus point and there's a few other settings. Uh, for me though, I like just to be able to move my autofocus point around. So when you're through the EVF and you're doing this, you can also black out areas. So if you happen to hit this a lot with your nose, you can just map where the function actually takes place. And up in this top corner here, it's very, very nice to be able to move your focus point around. So on most of my Nikon cameras, I have the front button and now it actually comes standard in the, the Z8 uh, to APS-C crop mode. So I like to be able to just get into that crop mode very quickly with the touch of a button. I like that a lot for specifically for weddings. If I'm, if I'm on something like maybe the 20 to 75 and I get to 75 and it's just a little bit too short, I can bump that into APS-C crop mode and get a little bit more reach and get the image a little bit more correct in camera. Continuous high extended, and we're going to do 11 frames a second of this coffee being created. Another great thing with Nikon is the selection of lenses. So whether you are a wedding photographer or a portrait photographer, or if you're into sports and even wildlife, there is the scalability and the Z series glass now to support that. So that is really, really cool. I also like the fact that the 1.8 prime lenses are professional quality. So I would be happy with the, the 35 and the 85, 1.8, that's a great wedding kit. Oh, we're, Shout out to the, to the 3585 merch. To your favorite focal lengths, you can get it. Also, you can go watch our Nikon show too. We did one on the, the Z6, the original. It's a fun time. Go to Japan, Havana. Where else do we go, Tim? Miami. Miami. Bahamas. Vegas. Vegas, LA. Hawaii. Mar we canceled the Margaritaville uh, Jimmy Buffett episode. <laughs> did, we, did you say Hawaii or did you say Hawaii? And Hawaii. So you can go watch that if you're interested. So there you have it, the Nikon ZF. It's been amazing to see what Nikon has done since the Z9 and the new ZF is going to find its way into a lot of people's bags. The Nikon lens selection is wonderful from anyone from wedding photographers and portraits to sports and wildlife. And this is a new key piece of their system at a great price point in a very, very attractive package. It is a camera that I cannot wait to buy. And I suggest getting your pre-order in today if you're very interested in this camera because I suspect there is going to be a lot of demand and you might be waiting. Oh. And if you're a wedding photographer, I have a free deal for you. There's a link below to get my wedding day shot list, a preset pack, and my email templates. So we'll get those right now. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time. Don't know why I feel like most of this video is like Jerry Seinfeld, just yelling for no reason.